Hey guys. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Hey guys. It's Leia with Yoga Del Sol here to bring you a 20 minute flow. So we'll go ahead and just get started. Um, let's start in child's pose today. So your knees will be mat distance apart. Big toes will touch. Melt the heart down towards the mat. Stretch the arms out in front of you and bring the forehead to the mat. And come into your yogic breathing. So breathe in and out of the nose here. Let's take three breaths down into the belly. Feel yourself grounding. Coming into this moment, into this practice. Good. Let's go ahead and walk our hands back towards our body. And we're going to take a couple cat calves. So come onto the hands and the knees. Drop the belly, shine the heart through the arms. Tailbone slightly lifts to the sky, gazes up. On an exhale, press the mat away from you. Drop the tailbone, chin to chest, cat. Really press that back out into the sky. Inhale, belly drops. Heart rises, gaze lifts. Exhale, cat. And keep going at your own pace. Take a couple of more. Maybe shifting around from side to side. Just noticing what feels good to you today. What you might need. Come back to a neutral spine, and we are going to walk the hands out a couple of inches in front of us, spread the fingers open wide, and uncurl the toes, come into a down dog. If you need to come to your knees at any point during this practice, that's fine, or a child's pose, you really want to press into the fingers, into the knuckles, lift the tailbone up, relax the heels. And then pedal your knees one by one down towards the mat. So we're walking the dog out, stretching the back body here. Still keeping the fingers plugged in. Tailbone lifted. Your ears are in between your arms, so you're in an inverted V here. One more breath. Good. And slowly walk your feet up towards your hands. Good, and let's just fold forward here. So let the heavy, heavy, maybe you grab around the backs of the knees today, or just hang in a rag doll, whatever's in your practice today, what you're feeling, shake the head out, yes and no. Good, and root to rise. So root all four corners of your feet down, let your arms be heavy, roll up to standing. Good. Roll the shoulders back away from the ears. You want to tuck the tailbone under slightly and bring the ribs down into the core so your core is active. Shoulders away from the ears. Stand tall. Take a couple breaths here. One more breath. Good. Bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart. Arms rise up by the ears, hinging back slightly out of the hips. Bow forward, hinging from the hips, bending the knees as you bow. Core is, is engaged. Hands come down outside of the feet. Drop the head. Halfway lifting, so you can take your hands onto your shins and gaze out, or maybe your hands are on the mat. Good. Then take your hands down to the ground. Step the right leg back here. 
and hold in a runner's lunge, left knee over left ankle, spine is straight. Drop right knee, right toes, sink down to the mat. Breathing in and out of the belly to promote proper relaxation. One more breath here, just warming up the hips. Step back into a plank, just for a moment, so your shoulders come over your wrists, feet are hip distance apart. Lower down, knees, chest, forehead, elbows in towards the body, lowering down to the forehead or the chin. Uncurl the toes and press up for a baby cobra. So you press into the hands, firm up the legs, pelvis in the mat, back muscles, lifting you up. Good, lower down to your forehead. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And this time, press up into a plank. Then down dog. Look forward, step the right foot up in between the hands. You want to help it up there. If it doesn't make it, that's perfectly fine. Hold in a runner's lunge, gazing out. Drop down to your left knee, left toes. Three breaths. Letting your thighs kind of release, hips open here. Engage the core, step the left foot forward, bow down, bend in the knees, bow the head down. Look out in front of you, bring your arms out by your ears, hinging up and back. Prayer in front of the heart, arms down by your side, come back to prayer. Inhale, arms rise, exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway lift, looking out in front of you. Step the left leg back this time. Drop the left knee and the left toes. If you have some blocks, that's nice right here by the front foot. Plank. So plant the palms. Plank is a strong pose. Engage the core. Drop down to the knees, chest, forehead. Uncurl the toes, plug the toes into the mat, firm the legs, inhale, lift, baby cobra, elbows in towards the body. Exhale, lower down to the forehead. Inhale, lift, kneecaps lifted off the mat, press the pelvic bone into the mat. Exhale, lower. Inhale, one more lift. Exhale, lower. Press up into a plank, so come to the tips of the toes, firm up the core, plank, press back to a down dog, get the full. Look forward, step the left foot forward, drop the right knee down, right toes, keep the spine long. Step the right foot forward, bow. Look out in front of you, arms come out, come all the way up to standing, hinge back, prayer, arms go on your side, exhale, prayer, inhale, arms rise, exhale, lower down, inhale, half lift, step both feet back this time. Lower down to the mat, knees, chest, chin or forehead. Uncurl the toes, lift into a baby cobra. Exhale, press to down dog, hands, knees, hips come high. Look forward and step both feet up in between the hands, then bow down. 
Look out in front of you, arms by the ears, come all the way up, rooting to rise, hinge back out of the hips. Prayer, arms by your side, exhale, prayer. Inhale, up, exhale, bow. Inhale, half lift, exhale, step into a plank, retain the breath in plank. Exhale, lower down, knees, chest, forehead. Inhale, slide onto your belly, baby cobra. Exhale, down dog. Hands, knees, hips come high. Look forward, step both feet up in between the hands. Bow down, slight bend in the knees. Inhale, look out in front of you, arms come out, rise up. Prayer. Arms by your side, one more, exhale, prayer. Try to move with your breath. Inhale, arms up and back. Exhale, bow, so bend the knees, bow forward, head is heavy. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step into a plank. Inhale and retain the breath. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, press to down dog. Step both feet forward and bow. Look out, come all the way up, hinge back. Prayer, arms by your side and let's just stand tall here for a couple of breaths. Let the shoulders relax down your back. Your heart shines towards the sky. Good, interlace your hands behind your back, bend your knees. Stay here with your throat open, shoulders back or maybe you bend your knees a little bit more and fold forward, rinsing out the shoulders. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Shake the head yes and no. Then the knees look out in front of you. Come up to rising. Arms come up by your ears. Prayer. Arms by your side. Take your hands to your hips. And you're going to step the left leg back. And we're coming into a high lunge. So we're just going to lunge into the front knee. So the front knee goes over the front ankle. Keep the core engaged. The tailbone slightly tucked under. Arms come up by your ears. Spine is long. Lower down to the left knee and the left toes. Hold here. Take your hands to the front of the mat. Step back into a plank. Good. Plank pose, always come to your knees if you need to. Lower down knees, chest, forehead to the mat. Uncurl the toes, inhale, baby cobra, elbows in, kneecaps lifted. Exhale, lower down, let's do that again. Inhale, up. Exhale, lower, inhale, up, exhale, lower, one more, inhale, up, good, come into a plank, so uncurl the toes, press into your hands, engage the core, plank, down dog, look forward, step both feet up in between the hands. You're going to bow down, then the knees, bow down. Halfway lift, so look out in front of you, arms out in front of you. Come all the way up to rising. Hands in front of heart center, then down by your side. Hands come to the hips, step the right foot back. Come into your high lunge, so set your foundation, maybe you straighten 
and bend a couple of times in that knee. Tucking the tailbone under slightly, the arms rise up, heart is open, throat is open. Good, lower down to that right knee, the right toes, low lunge. Take your hands down to the front of the mat. Engaging the core, step back into a plank. Lower down, knees, chest, forehead. Uncurl the toes, inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And this time, you're going to take your hands to the outside, mat distance apart, or outside of the mat, and you're going to inhale, lift the back up, and press into the hands, really shining that heart towards the sky, pelvis tucked into the mat, lower down, inhale, lift, and maybe you come on to your fingertips this time, lift a little more, Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lower. Take your hands back under your shoulders. Come on to the tips of your toes. Engage the core. Press up into a plank. Then back to down dog. Hold down dog here for three breaths, really pressing the mat away from you. Shake the head out, yes and no. Good, come down onto your knees. We got a little fly in the studio here, in my studio. <laughs> You're going to cross your feet at the ankles and come down onto your bottom. And we're going to do my favorite hip opener. So I will face you guys. You're going to take the, ooh, this little fly, take this right leg out of the way. Then you're going to bring the left leg, the knee is bent at a 90 degree angle. So you want to look down at your legs and you're going to stack your knees and your ankles. So you're gonna lift the right leg, place the ankle on top of the knee, and the knee on top of the ankle. So like you're stacking firewood. Then your feet are flexed here. So the legs, the calves are about 12 inches away from the pelvis. So we're not kind of pretzely here. We're just out, knees are stacked. Sometimes a pillow or a block is okay here. Wherever you are, is fine. Just keep the tailbone plugged in underneath you. Keep the heart open, so sitting up tall. And we're gonna fold forward so the fingertips come out in front of you and just fold forward here. Let the head be heavy. Five breaths here as you try to just let yourself be Letting the right hip release any clenching. Breathing deep into that belly. And when we fold forward, we let go. So let go of something that doesn't serve you anymore. Sitting in your fire, breathing from the belly. In and out of that nose. One more breath. Good. Come back up to sitting up tall. Take your hands behind you. Lift your heart towards the sky so you're kind of on your fingertips here. 
to use the core and just switch the legs out. So the right leg comes underneath and the left leg comes on top. And again, oh, I got a hair in my mouth. And again, the knees and the ankles are stacked and the feet are flexed. So sitting up tall, we're gonna fold forward. So take the fingertips out in front of you and just fold on down. Let the head be heavy here, five breaths. Really grounding down in your root. And again, think of something that you can just let go of here, but make sure to breathe in and out of the nose all the way down to your belly. So let that belly fill with air, feel it filling up. And then empty out completely. Maybe you hinge forward a little bit more, head is heavy. Releasing the jaw, any tension you're clenching onto here. One more breath. And slowly we're going to come on up. And we're going to come on down to our backs here. And we're just going to take one nice heart opener. So come on down to your back slowly. Be careful with your body. Take a breath here. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me, that sun is shining in my face. I love it, but it made me sneeze on this pollen right now. Take a breath. Excuse me for sneezing. And we're going to come into a heart opener here. So your legs are out in front of you, feet pointing, the toes pointing towards the wall in front of you. You're going to disappear your arms underneath your back. So sit on the palms of your of your hands. So your palms are in the mat. You're sitting on your hands. And tuck your arms, your entire arms in underneath your back, okay? Then you're going to sit up and look at your feet. So press into your elbows and sit up and look at your feet, okay? Then tell the legs and the toes, everything just to relax. You're pressing into your elbows here. Then puff your chest up to the sky. Your palms are in the mat. Then let your head fall heavy back until it hits the mat. So you shift back a little bit on your tailbone naturally. Let the legs relax. So heart is exposed here. Let's take four deep breaths here, breathing through the chest, the ribs, and the belly. In and out of the nose. I promise if you take the time to do this and breathe properly, you'll feel a little bit lighter after this practice. One more breath. Whenever you're anxious or stressed out, this is a nice pose to come into. Filling that belly up. Good. Then come to the back of your head as you remove the arms from underneath your back. And we're just coming, going to come into a final Shavasana here. So let the legs splay out to the front corners of the mat. Tuck your shoulder blades in underneath you. Palms shining towards the sky or maybe grounded in the mat. And just let your breath become normal as you try not to attach to any of your thoughts here for the last few breaths. Take as long as you need if this video cuts off. You should really take about a five minute Shavasana, letting everything settle in. Be the observer of your thoughts. So notice what might arise in the mind. But don't go down any rabbit holes with it. Just let it keep on floating on by the thoughts. Give 
giving yourself permission to just let go here. Stay here as long as you need to. Namaste.